All right, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video series, we're going over firearm familiarization. In the earlier episodes, we covered everything from the cardinal rules of firearm safety, how to carry, how to store it, building your shooting platform from the ground up, even cleaning it. In this video, episode six, we're gonna talk about a little trick you need to do before you shoot. I'm Delta Nine, and this is Johnny Tactical. All right, so what is that little trick? It's not clickbait, I know you're thinking that, but it's actually a very undervalued technique that you can do at home for zero dollars. It's dry firing. I know, dry firing sounds about as exciting as uh, reading the dictionary, but it honestly will build the skills that you need to give you the confidence from when you go from never having shot or not shooting enough to the range. Because once you get on the range and the gun is, is loaded and it's live, it can be a little intimidating. Dry firing is gonna solve a lot of your problems because it gives you the repetitions that you need to build those essential skills so that when you get out there, you don't have to think about all the little details, you can just think about hitting your target. Now let's go over it first, okay? So I'm gonna bring my gun into this video and what we, when we do that, we have to make sure that the gun is empty. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is point it in a safe direction. Um, I'm gonna rem remove the magazine, which um, I have loaded with these red dummy rounds. And I know there's a dummy round in here, so that's gonna come out when I move this slide to the rear. There it goes. So I lock my slide to the rear. I am now gonna check it, right? So visually and physically inspect it. I'm gonna look down the magazine well at the breech face, at the breech. I'm gonna look away, magazine well, breech face, breech. Look and feel, this gun is empty. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reintroduce this magazine um, into the pistol just for the sake of this exercise. Um, you can dry fire your pistols without dummy rounds. It doesn't really matter. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go over some step-by-step -step things that you can do um, at home for zero dollars. Of course, after the, the expense of buying your gun, which is always fun. All right, so we're gonna work from the holster, okay? So I teach from the holster. I want you to get a holster that is the uh, specifically made for your gun um, and then train with it the way you plan on carrying it out in the real world, okay? So we're gonna assume a nice uh, shooting stance just the way I showed you before. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to draw our firearm, clear the holster, rock it forward, we're gonna bring our sights to our eyes. We're gonna line our sights up and we're gonna press our trigger to the rear until it goes bang. And then we're going to let the pressure off the trigger while maintaining contact with it until it resets without disturbing the sights. Then finger comes off trigger and then I'm gonna do the reverse of holstering and I'm gonna holster without um, using this hand to like support my holster or, or find it because I don't ever want to cross my muzzle over my hand so I'm going to holster with that hand alone. So what we need to do is we need to give ourselves a target. You can take like a post-it note and, and just take a sharpie and draw a circle uh, on that post-it note, stick it on a wall. If you have a, a, a drywall that needs repair you can use that little spot um, to aim at or it could be a, a picture on the wall, maybe it's your ex and you, and you just use that as your, I'm just kidding, don't do that. It doesn't really matter, but as long as you have a point of aim, so I'm gonna look at that point of aim, I'm going to control my support hand and not let it dangle like a limp noodle. Control my support hand, draw at the defeat, um, my retention, clear my holster, rock my pistol forward, marry my hands together, a nice grip, and then I bring my sights to my eyes. And my eyes should be looking at whatever that point of aim is. Bring my sights to my eyes, press my trigger to the rear. Don't disturb the sights. Reset the trigger nice and slow and steady, maintaining contact with the trigger the whole time. Finger off trigger. And I'm going to bring my gun back to my holster, just like that. 
So that is one way to dry fire, where you do holster, bring it up, one press, back to the holster. And so what you're doing is you're reinforcing all the things we learned, all the basics. And the more you do it, the more natural it will become, the less you'll have to think about it, the easier it will be when you get to the range and actually shoot. Another way you can do it is find yourself a quarter. You can balance that quarter on your gun and line up my sights because a quarter won't disturb, um, excuse me, won't get in the way of my sights because it's nice and flat and I can dry fire this way. This will help me know that I am being nice and still and I can just do a number of repetitions like that. Of course, you can't holster with a quarter on, so it works in the way that like, uh, I don't know, at least in the old days, like you walk around with books on your head to like help with your posture. Uh, it's the same idea. So you can just take like a quarter, put it on top of the, the slide of your gun, and, um, and practice dry firing that way. One other method you can do, which will increase the realism of what's happening with the trigger, is like this gun is a double action, single action, so I can press the trigger and it moves the hammer um, all the way back. But if the slide cycles, what happens to the hammer? It's cocked. Now my trigger press is different than it was um, before because the hammer's cocked. So the presses are gonna be a lot different. If you have a striker fire pistol, like a Glock or like a SIG 320, something along those lines, you know that if you cycle the action and you press the trigger, when you go to press it again, basically nothing's gonna happen. So you're not gonna feel anything going on with the trigger. So that's why you need a buddy. And let me show you how that's gonna work. Gonna make this gun empty again. These are dummy rounds. You don't need them. Um, what you do need though is an empty gun. So we're gonna make sure this gun is empty because we're gonna press the trigger and anytime you wanna do that, um, not at the range or in a safe place, you definitely wanna make sure the gun is empty because you will have a unpleasant surprise otherwise. So what you're gonna need to do is if you get a buddy, have your buddy come over. Um, and your buddy can act like the, the gun, he can be like the gun, he or she can be like the gun going off. They're gonna cycle your action. So it's gonna look like this. Um, your buddy's gonna stand beside you, um, like perpendicular to your gun, and then you dry fire, bang, you hold the trigger to the rear. They're gonna come over and do this. And then you reset while keeping your sights lined up and on the point of aim, which is whatever point on the wall you chose. And then you press the trigger to the rear. Your buddy comes up, cycles the action. You reset the trigger, press it to the rear. Your buddy cycles the action like that, and then repeat. You can do it yourself, but it's just not the same. So what they would basically do is, they would just stand next to you, and they just, every time you press the trigger, they're just gonna cycle it, cycle it, cycle it. So that's another way you can do it, and what that will do is it will just allow you to feel what the trigger actually feels like. And as he cycles it, it's gonna jerk the gun, which makes you have to follow through and find those sights again. So it's actually, it does have a benefit. And you get to hang out with somebody, you can trade, take, um, take turns, trade places, and you can work together. And they can also look at you, look at how you're standing, make sure you're not uh, leaning back on your heels, make sure you're not hunched, make sure that you're bringing your sights to your eyes. And so you can offer each other feedback and everything's always better with the buddy, right? It's more fun that way. Um, so dry firing sounds really dry and boring because nothing's going bang. There's, Nothing is, you're not running around and doing somersaults and nothing crazy is happening, but dry firing is the least expensive and a super effective way to build the skills that you need on the range or out on the street should you have a deadly force encounter. And it is, um, it's just a great way to do it in the comfort of your own home. You can do it in your PJs and your undies, whatever, as long as the shades are drawn, um, you can go ahead and do that and practice on a regular basis. And that is something you definitely need to do before you shoot. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel um, and share it with somebody. And then also you can go over to johnnytactical.org. Um, we have some sweet merchandise over there. We've got some, a bunch of cool t-shirts. We've got free downloads. We've got targets you can download. Um, we have a blog. We've got all kinds of resources for you there. Please go check it out. Please tell a friend and come back for the next episode. I'm Delta 9 and this is Johnny Tactical.